Okay, you have your essential oil diffuser out of the box and we're ready to put it to use. The first thing you're going to do is figure out how to plug it in. So the plug goes into the open area and find an outlet nearby. You can take the top off and decide which essential oil you're going to use. One of my favorites is peppermint, so that's what I'm going to be using today. You're going to fill with water up to, but not going over, the red dot inside of the dewdrop diffuser. If you have a different design diffuser, it might be a line in the middle, but you don't want to fill beyond that or the diffuser won't work properly. So, little tip, if it's not working properly, always check and see and make sure the water level is below the marker. So, add in the water. For this diffuser, you can just use tap water and choose how many essential oil drops you want to use. Starting with four is a good idea and you can always build up from there. It is really hard to take the essential oil out once the diffuser gets going. It's a lot easier to add it in afterwards. So, the water and the essential oils are inside the diffuser. In order to get the top back on, you're going to line up the word Young Living with the notch and we are good to go. You push the button once and the light comes on and the essential oil and water are mixing to disperse the aroma into the air. There's a fine mist and it suspends the essential oils into the air. If you have this in your bedroom at night and you really don't want the light, just press it again and the light goes off. The great thing about this is it has an automatic turn off. So once the water is gone, it'll automatically turn off. You don't have to worry about waking up in the middle of the night and having it still going without any essential oils in it. I look forward to hearing which essential oils you use first in your essential oil diffuser.